I actually said no to a Birkin 25 in my favorite color. Hi my loves, welcome back. Oh my goodness, today it's a bit of a story time. You saw the title. Yes, I declined a quota bag, a rare Birkin 25. I'm going to be telling you the story as to why. Also, if you see this sea of green behind me, I was going to tell you this story and it was actually perfect timing because Winnie from Winnie BLV, hi Winnie, she tagged me on what is your power color tag. And so you guys know one of my favorite colors is green, specifically like emerald green or the more jeweled green, though honestly I love all greens. So I thought it would be great to do a bit of story time and combine this tag into one. I will link Winnie's channel down below. And the original creator of this tag was Living Life Loud with NJS, Nick. So I think this was a fabulous idea. And if you are new to my channel, hi I'm Mel. For those of you that know me already, you know I love green. Fun fact though, my favorite color is it's actually sky blue because I just love looking at the sky. However, sky blue for my complexion doesn't suit me as well. Though that doesn't mean that I don't wear blue. I wear all the rainbows of colors. And talking about rainbows, Winnie's power color was rainbow, which was so funny. You need to go watch her video. I guess a power color to me is a color that you know, I feel a bit more confident in. I usually get more compliments when I'm wearing this shade of green. As you can see, I'm all decked out in green. And so let's start off with the Hermes story. So a couple of months ago, I was offered a Birkin 25 in ostrich in the color Vert Verone. And I will put a picture up here. Now, Hermes greens are a bit of a chameleon, but it is a brighter green than malachite, than the Hermes malachite color. It's probably more of a true green, I would say, a bit more poppy, gorgeous nonetheless, and in ostrich. So you're probably wondering, why did I say no? As you know, Melbourne does not get that much stock. So I have to be extremely selective with what I choose to pick. Apart from what you guys think, I do not get two quota bag offers a year. I'm lucky if I get one a year. And for those of you that might not know what quota bag means, here in Australia at least, that means a Birkin, Kelly of any size, but Constance at this stage is not considered a quota bag, though honestly, it probably is unofficially considered a quota bag. Anyway, I love green. It suits me. I love it. It wasn't about the color. If I could, I would have bought it if they allowed me to have two quota bags a year, but that has never been the case. I've never been offered two quota bags in my local boutique. It might seem like I'm offered more bags because I do go to Hawaii and I get bags there, but Melbourne, yeah, much harder. So one, I have another higher wish list uh, bag that I have been waiting for for a long time. And there could be a chance, still a chance, is nothing is for certain in Hermes that you know, it may be coming in and I could get it. So that was one of the reasons I declined it. Secondly, I know a lot of people think, but Mel, why don't you just buy it and then you can just resell it because Hermes bags retain their value so well and I would definitely make more money. But I'm not in the business of buying and reselling Hermes bags. I'm a genuine Hermes lover. You know, I have quite the collection of Hermes bags. If you haven't seen my entire Hermes bag collection, I will link it above. I did it late last year and I haven't added that many since. So that is most of them anyway. And so I really wanted to give the opportunity to someone that really, really, really loved the bag. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really, really loved it. I have to say, I was like, did I make a mistake? Am I crazy? It's so beautiful. I, maybe I should have taken it. And I was like, 
you know, and my store manager and my essay was certain I was going to love it. And I did because I love green so much. But the thing is that I always get asked this question, is it okay to say no when you're offered a bag that you don't love? It's not that I didn't love this bag, but is it okay to decline an Hermes quota bag offer? And my answer is absolutely Yes, it is. The Hermes sales associates totally understand. And I've been shopping at Hermes for so many years and they know my style. So I was just completely honest and I was toing and froing. I really was a hard decision because nothing is guaranteed in Hermes, but they understood why I declined it and why I decided to wait. They probably respected my decision more because they know I just don't take any bag offers. So for all those of you that are on, you know, I don't really like the word Hermes journey, but it is a bit of a journey and a process. It's probably more of a process, I would say. If you are offered something and you don't love it, it's okay to say no. You're not blacklisted. It's not like you'll never be offered a bag again. Just be honest with your sales associate and they will understand. I mean, you're spending so much money on this bag. I mean, this Birkin 25 was not cheap. I think for memory, it was around 30,000 or just over, I can't remember, but I don't regret it because I really, really want another one and fingers crossed, I am offered it. So that is the story of why I actually said no to the beautiful Birkin 25 in Ostrich in Vert Verone gold hardware as well in my favorite color or my power color. So now if we get into the tag of my power color, I thought it would be fun to have my green bags behind me as a bit of eye candy. But the premise of this tag was to show your five favorite things in your favorite color. And I do own a lot. I'm not going to go through my entire green bag collection. This isn't all of them actually. I probably still have a couple of other green contemporary bags that I kind of couldn't fit in this whole frame, but you get the picture. I love my green. So let's get to the very first item that I love in emerald green. Okay, let's start off with the most obvious. Everyone's gonna know this, but of course I have to show you Miss Mally, my very first Birkin. She is a Birkin 30 Togo leather. Palladium hardware. I actually love this color. So this is in Malachite or Malachite. And I got her from the Paris Boutique, my very first Birkin, over seven years ago. And she is still in immaculate condition. I mean, I always store my Birkins with my 7RP inserts. Yes, I still have the highest code for that. I've talked about 7RP so many times. In this particular one, I have a contrasting color, which is the Anemone. But if you click my link below, the discount, the highest discount code will automatically apply. This video is not sponsored by them. I've just been using them for, since they started actually, six plus years. Anyway, this was a no brainer for me. This will never leave my collection. I love her. Funnily enough, she's my only Birkin 30 and I really want to add another Birkin 30. Anyway, that is one of my favorites. Next is actually a clothing item and I'm wearing it. Yes, this is my Mim times Lily Silk, my very first creation I did for them probably nearly four years ago now. It is a 100% silk blouse. It actually comes with a tie so you can wear it two different ways. Previous to this, Lily Silk didn't have this color emerald green. I actually had to get them to source it. They sent me swatches and I picked this green. And now I'm happy to say the color has sold so well that they've put it in other pieces in their collection. So this shirt, it's got the pearl buttons. I still wear it so much to this day. I even in my second collab did this cami, which is also in the exact color, my Mim 2-in-1 lace cami, which you can wear frontwards and backwards. And I wear this to death. You've seen me wear this cami so many times in my videos. And yeah, I even put a little mood board for you. And I said, Mim Green. I just love this color so, so much that when I did my very first creation with Lily Silk, 
I chose emerald green. So that's why I love it so much. And also I know, but yes, I always keep getting asked. I do still have my, you know, discount code from Lily Silk. If you wanted to get this blouse, it comes in other colors as well. Um, I know not everyone is a green lover, but it's so interesting to see what are different people's power colors. Like I said before, Winnie's was rainbow. And I think she mentioned in her video, I need to still go watch it, but I already know Dale's is lilac. And I think Meredith's was pink. And it's just fun to see because everyone loves different colors. And I love that. So I, I think everyone would know mine is green. So that's why I created this. And so I had to show you these couple of pieces. Lily Silk have still asked me to continue to design for them. Thank you so much guys for all your support. So in future ranges, I will still do things in emerald green because it's my power color. All right, let's move on to jewelry, which I am also wearing. I think I am, you know, Captain Obvious <laughs> on all my favorite pieces. But yes, as you can see, my magic earrings from Van Cleef and Appel's in Malachite. I love this color. This was the very first piece I bought from Van Cleef and Appel's. Oh, I think it was end of... 2017 I believe so quite a few years ago maybe like yeah five years ago now gosh time flies and yes for the occasion I've even worn my five motif bracelet I own the malachite in the five motif in the magic and this year I added the three motif earrings as well that is how much I love malachite or the emerald green but this one in particular is special because it's my very first piece from VCA. And normally people might go for the more classic colors like Mother of Pearl or Onyx, but I was immediately attracted to this green. And I've said it so many times, but if they made more colors in this magic size, I would get them in every color. I just love it. They make a statement whenever I wear it. It's, yeah, I always get compliments on it. So my VCA magic earrings. And then another favorite, again from Hermes, how can I not mention this beauty? She still doesn't have a name. I asked you guys to name her and I'm still deciding. You guys give the best name suggestions. And for the past few years, you guys always name my bags. But it is my newest addition to my collection. How could I not include my vintage Kelly size 32 Cellier in Lizard in also the green as well. So this color in Hermes is called Vert Emerald. So it's not the Malachite, so that's why it looks different. But it also has patinaed over time because this bag is 34 years old. I mean, the condition is just, immaculate um, I'll link the video above of the story my unboxing and everything but this was from a couple of months ago and oh you know you know lizard is my favorite exotic and they don't make lizard bags anymore in this size well Hermes doesn't for a long time they still do make it in the smaller sizes but not in the 32 or the Birkin 35s, usually just the 25s, mini Kellys and Kelly pochettes, etc., etc., or the smaller the goods. But this beauty is was my holy grail. I cannot believe I found it, and I just love her so so much. And it's it's definitely a gem in my collection. So of course I had to include my beautiful exotic Kelly with gold hardware as well. Isn't she stunning? So before we get into my fifth favorite item in my collection in emerald green, I wanted to have a couple of honorable mentions. It was so hard. I do own so much in emerald green, but I love this Chanel card holder in this emerald green. I mean, I kind of regret from this collection. I think it was 2000 and I can't even remember, 18 or 17. It was such a popular color. I wish I got the square mini. This is just beautiful. I just, it's green. It's got the champagne gold hardware. I love it so much. I actually do own quite a number of green SLGs, as you can see from different brands. 
but this color definitely steals my heart. So that was an honorable mention that I just quickly wanted to show you. The other honorable mention is I own a lot of clothing pieces in green. And last year I had my very first meet in great. I wore an all green dress, which I love from an Australian designer, Leo and Lynn. This is a, just a very short clip of it. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, follow me here. But the meet and greet was amazing. And I just was just so overwhelmed and stunned at how many people showed up. And yeah, we just all, I just got to meet all of you guys. It was the best event held at Foray Lepage in their Melbourne boutique and I wore all green because green is my favorite color and my power color. So definitely had to mention that because that event was so memorable. I do have a video on that as well. I'll link it above. But yeah, I still remember meeting everyone and chatting to everyone and hopefully in future we can have another one. It was just so much fun because what made me happy was that people connected and they made new friends from the whole experience and I could just meet you guys which was just so surreal to me so that was definitely an honorable mention as well and then lastly my fifth favorite item in the color emerald green is actually my Moina Gabrielle bag in size BB this bag comes in three different sizes so the BB the PM and then the MM and I also got this maybe four years ago. I think it was 2018, well, maybe nearly five years ago. And this one is special because one, I love structured bags. Two, the M, the twist lock M is M for Moina, but it sort of looks like M for Mel, doesn't it? And it does come also with a shoulder strap. And not many people at that time knew about Moina. And I actually got to tour the Atelier. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it above. And I find it so interesting just watching the artisans craft the bag. And I also got to meet the creative director, Ramesh. And well, he was the creative director at that time. So it was a very cool experience. And so that's what makes this bag so special. And yes, I was going to show you and I got sidetracked. It does come with a shoulder strap as well. You know, it's such a cute size. It definitely fits your phone in there. It's in a beautiful color green with the gold. I love that it's versatile. You can wear it so many ways with the shoulder strap. But more importantly, it was the experience of meeting the artisans who make this bag, which is so much detailing involved and meeting the creative director himself that time. So for that reason, this is my fifth favorite bag in my power color. So that is in my loves. That was a little bit of my story time about Hermes. What do you guys think? Do you think I should have just taken it or do you think I made the right choice? When I see pictures of that beautiful ostrich birkin, I have to say it still makes me second guess <laughs> my choice, but I still have no regrets because I'm sure it went to someone who absolutely loved, 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 loved it. And I just didn't want to settle because I definitely have my eye and I've been a lot more specific in my wish list from my local boutique, especially since it's so hard to get. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I wear all colors and I love colored bags, as you know from seeing my videos. But in particular, I am very partial to emerald green. But you know what? I think as at the, I think Coco Chanel said this, the best color in the world is the one that suits you. So whatever makes you feel the best or confident, even if it's a color that doesn't suit your complexion, wear it anyway, because your power color is supposed to give you happy vibes, I think. So anyway, thank you again to Winnie for tagging me. It was a very fun tag to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and definitely share what your power color is in the comments with me as well. So have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.